welcome to a brand new vlog. This vlog is going to be like a teacher weekend vlog. Um, I didn't finish the, well I did finish the one vlog from last week, but then I didn't do a second vlog from the school week for Thursday, Friday because <laughs> Friday I didn't go to school. Um, so on Thursday I was putting up one of my painted ceiling tiles that my students made and I was like I had my hands up and I was like lifting it into the ceiling and I tweaked my neck um, and then it just kept getting like progressively worse throughout the day um, and then I woke up on Friday and I could barely even get out of bed like Tony had to help me lift my head um, and I did not sleep at all I was miserable so I took off I went to the doctor and it was a really great doctor actually it was a walking clinic but it was for ortho um, but she put me on some pain pills well I think it's actually anti-inflammatories and some um, muscle relaxers and they're great like it, it helps a lot but it makes me so sleepy it really just knocks me out um so i think i'm just going to use those at night before i go to bed and it like last night i did it right before i went to bed and it knocked me out and i slept for nine hours <laughs> so that's good um it does still hurt kind of bad if i have <laughs> uh it does hurt kind of bad but i have a bigger range of motion right now um, than I had before so um, that's good and yeah we'll see how today goes it is derby day Kentucky Derby day one of my favorite days of the year it is also Cinco de Mayo day so it's gonna be a fun one even if I have neck pain I'm gonna kind of fight through it I have a really hard time sitting still I have a really hard time following doctor's orders like uh, I should probably just be sitting on a couch but Instead, we're going kayaking. <laughs> but to be fair, my neck hurts way worse when it stiffens up. Is it time? Can I finish this? Can you just go in? So I have a really hard time just sitting still, and like I know I should probably just be resting at home today, but instead, we're going kayaking. <laughs> but to be fair, uh, my neck hurts way, way worse when um, I'm sitting and like it's, it, um, tenses up like it's actually better to be doing something and have some movement so yeah um you can see the kayaks are in the back of the truck we are headed to the lake we're gonna be doing some kayaking it is 10 20 um and then when we get back we are either going to be going to a local winery and they have like a food truck festival today um or if we don't have time i'm just gonna get ready and we're just gonna kind of hunker down and watch the kentucky derby um coverage starts at 2:30, and um, that's all the stuff I like, like where they go through the stories of the horses and everything like that. But I don't think post time is till like 6:30. So, um, and we had Mexican last night for Cinco de Mayo, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day, gonna be a good weekend. Um, the sun is shining, so that's awesome, and I think it's gonna be close to 70 degrees. So, even though my neck hurts, it's gonna be a great weekend, and I am excited to spend it with Tony and be outside so um i will catch you guys later today i will definitely vlog some kayaking i have my gopro with me and yeah i'll see you guys later bye Sunday um, so I am feeling much better today with my neck it still hurts pretty bad but it is still the best uh, day since I injured it so that's a plus um, and yeah I just took my pain meds but I think I mentioned yesterday I'm not taking the muscle relaxers during the day because it just really makes me feel so junky and sleepy and loopy and not fan um but it does feel really good today so yesterday we went kayaking and that really didn't irritate it it felt pretty good um we just relaxed and kayaked it was so nice it was so beautiful out we came home we watched the kentucky derby which is always a blast um we played cards and i think then we just like watched tv and chilled and ate dinner um uh, we made 
Mexican lasagna yesterday and I can put the recipe below because it's actually a really really good one it's so easy to make it's a Weight Watchers recipe and I'm not on Weight Watchers but I just love this recipe um, it's just you brown the meat you add corn beans tomatoes with chilies and then you layer it like a lasagna so it's tortillas and then the meat mixture and then we use Greek yogurt um, and then you do it again and then you put a little cheese on top and it's so 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 good <laughs> um, Today I am going to be working in our yard. I want to plant a lot of our flowers and get that going because it's going to be so nice. I think we are finally out of like the fear of a frost where I can start planting a bunch of different flowers. Um, I do start some things from seed but not everything. I get antsy and I just want to like buy all the flowers I see. So we're going to go to Lowe's today and do that and we're going to bring Dixie which always tires her out so that's fun. Um, so since we are going out I am getting ready. I'm in my bathroom right now. I did my makeup. I do want to do a video about like my simple makeup routine like things I do for work. Um, I love makeup so I probably put more on than some teachers do so my simple routine is not as simple as some people's simple routine <laughs> but it's like I just love makeup it's like art for your face um so I do want to do that soon um but until then I thought I could show you how I do my hair and this is what I do usually every day if my hair is down if my hair is up that's different but if it's curled and down, um, this is my hair routine. I've been asked a lot about my curls and things like that, so I thought I would show you. Um, the first tip I have, basically, to getting curls that stay, and this took me a while to learn, but you don't need to wash your hair every day. And I know that might sound odd if you are a type of person who does wash their hair every day, but I swear, like, your hair... Uh, almost needs um to not be washed every day now given if I work out I wash my hair like if I sweat I wash my hair in the summer I wash my hair a lot um but right now I try not to and I have thinner hair um it's fine you know so at first it took a while for my hair to get used to that um but something that helps is dry shampoo this is my ultimate favorite I actually have it prescribed not prescribed <laughs> not drug I have a prescription no what am I thinking of what word okay so <laughs> I could not think of the word. Subscription. Um, I have a subscription to this through Amazon and I get, I think, one or two bottles a month. That's how much I use it. Yep. So, um, I get the one that is Divine Dark because the lighter ones have like a white residue um, that you can see. So, since my hair is darker, I mean, it's not like real dark brown, but it's dark enough where I need this because the rest kind of shows something. So, what I do is um if i even if i do shower actually i put this in it because it gives it some volume and texture i will just lift up my roots and spray it at the base of my roots and that's really it i don't put any down here it's not necessary um i really just need that at my roots and i definitely always get my crown back in here too and then you can kind of like toss your hair, um, your head down. I'm not going to do that because of my neck today. But, and just fluff it. Like that. Some people let this sit in there and then like do the makeup um, and everything. I usually just do it and start my hair right away. And then um, I take a wet brush and go through my hair. I originally got this for right after the shower. But then I found out how much I love it for uh all the time it just really I don't know it's it's great for tangles it's great for even teasing like it's just really soft on my hair so it looks like this and mine's really dingy but um because of my dry shampoo but it just helps a lot I like it way better than a regular brush and I brush through that dry shampoo in my hair okay now that that is brushed through a bit I will then take a texturizing spray. Now, I have been using Herbal Essence um, Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. This is not my favorite. I mean, it's a good one, um, but I used to have one that I 
loved so much oh my gosh and I think they stopped making it if you have ever seen this before let me know because I have checked Walmart I have checked Target Ulta like I'm pretty sure that they stopped making it or something. I don't know. I found it on Amazon, but it was crazy expensive. Uh, I'll put a picture of it right here. It is called Got To Be Mesmerizing, Volumizing Hairspray, I think. But it's like mesmerizing, like mess, like messy hair. Merizing. It's supposed to be a texturizing spray. It's supposed to volumize your hair, and it does all of that so well. My curls would stay so well. It was like the ultimate hairspray for me and now I stopped being able to find it and I'm really sad. Um, so this is okay. Like I'm still on the hunt for something equal to that old one that I used to use. Um, but what I will do is just take this and not a lot, but just spray to get it ready for my wand. And then I'm going to brush that through as well, just like I did with my dry shampoo. Okay, now that my hair is kind of prepped with product in it, um, I separate my part. And I do not separate my hair into sections to curl it. I just don't have enough, really, to do that. And then I start curling it with my wand. So I have the Hot Tools wand um, I'll look up the dimensions and, and put it below with a link for this um, but what I find works really well is a wand that gets smaller at the top that is how my curls hold um, because the curl ends up being tighter down here and then it get, doesn't get as loose um, and flat throughout the day so I set my wand to the highest this one goes up to 450 I know that's like crazy hot um, it's probably super damaging for my hair, but that's what works for me. And I start at the top. I take, I don't know, I vary in how much I take, probably like an inch or so. And, oh, it's caught. And then I just take that, whoops. And I just take that and I wrap it. And I don't really even worry how I'm wrapping it because if you are too meticulous about like the way you wrap it around they will all look the same and it won't look um, as kind of like that messy natural-ish curl if you know what I mean so then I just hold that there for I don't know maybe like 10 seconds or something I let it fall I hold it a little bit and I just drop it and it's gonna look super tight and crazy at first don't worry I brush it out <laughs> And the way I like to wrap it is I take it as kind of just like one piece and I wrap it like a rope. If you leave the hair flat against the barrel, it's going to be more of a spiral curl, which is fine. I kind of like mix it and do both. Um, but I also always leave a little piece at the end. That's really important too, to make it look uh, less like Shirley Temple style curls and more natural beauty curls. This is really curly. That's not what I want, obviously. So I am going to take that brush I showed you earlier. That's a wet brush. And I am just going to brush through all of my hair. I think some people are nervous to brush through their curls because they think they're going to go away. If they have cooled, um, the, you'll be fine. And if you've used the right products, you'll be fine. Um, so, I mean, it depends on what look you want, but I don't want crazy tight curls. So, like, I really, you saw, like, I really brushed out everything. Um, and that's when you get that soft curl versus that, like, separation curl, if you know what I mean. Um, where this is more they're all, your hair is all one piece flowing together, and if you didn't do this, it'd be like curl, 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 all over being separate. So now that I have done that, it is my favorite time. Um, and it is time that I tease my crown up here, like 
these roots, and then back here. So how I tease my hair is you take a volumizing hairspray. I use this one. I lift up the area that I'm going to tease. I spray it. I take a teasing comb. So they make a bunch of different kinds of these. Some have these like bristles. Others are more um, the individual bristles. Uh, I have a bunch. It just depends. You can use, honestly, like I tease with this sometimes too. Uh, and then you just take this and you back comb the area you want teased. And then sometimes I get even closer. And you leave it all crazy at first. At first. And I'm going to leave it crazy. And that's it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not it. Now I need to brush this out as well. All right, guys. Once you are teased and... If you are having some volume problems like down here, I have seen people tease a little within the hair and not just the roots. Um, I do that sometimes, like I just don't always need it. Once you're done though with all that like teasing and, and it's where you want it to be, I again take that texturizing spray for one more spray around and what you can do to really get a messy lift is take the hair and as you spray, you're going to slowly kind of like let it down like that. One more thing for volume, if you take your hair and you lift it and then spray it, um, it will help it kind of keep that volume up on your roots. And then one more light little brush, just because I don't like when my hair is hard or it has like a, a crunchiness like from the hairspray I want it to be soft but all right and there we go that is how I do my hair pretty much every day if my hair is down um it took a little longer just from filming it but I think it usually probably takes honestly 10 minutes in the morning and that's it and I mean it gets It'll get easier the more you do it. It did not take me 10 minutes when I first started curling my hair. Um, but now that I have done it so often, it really doesn't take that long at all. Sometimes I find that when I want to put my hair up, um, it actually takes me longer because um, I'm just so used to curling it. So I can do it really, really fast. And this will last, honestly, a couple days. Now, I always have to recurl sections. Like I, some people will curl their hair and they say the curls last a week. I don't know how they do that. That's amazing. I think it just depends on the type of hair you have. So for example, tomorrow, like my hair will be wavy. Um, but if I wanted it to be curly like this again, I would have to go in, curl some more sections, add some more dry shampoo, add some more volume with some teasing. Um, it would not look just like this when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I wish it did. <laughs> um, all right, so I am going to go get dressed. We are going to head to Lowe's and get some flowers and things and start working in the yard. So I will catch you guys later today. Say hi, Dixie. Look here. Hi. Dixie came to Lowe's with us. And she sits on the center console like a little good girl in the truck. Say hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are home from Lowe's now and I have a bunch of my flowers I wanted to show you. Um, however, it is pouring rain so I won't actually be planting them today. But that's fine, I can only plant them throughout the week so it's going to be really nice. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff. I actually found some flowers yesterday, not yesterday, when was it? Friday? Friday afternoon at a um, little shop along the road, like a plant stand. Um, and then today we got a bunch from Lowe's as well. So yeah, I'm gonna flip it around and show you all of the really, really pretty flowers I got and I can't wait to plant them. <laughs> okay, so I have it in this big tub right now because we got this tub um, to make a compost. We're hoping to try to help our soil because our soil is not great for the garden in the back. Um, so we're just gonna start adding stuff to this and tossing around and hoping that we can get some better soil going. So from Lowe's today I got these okay so I got two of these today 
And then I got some marigolds. Even though I do have some marigolds in the greenhouse at school growing, um, I just figured, you know, to get a head start, I got a couple of these guys. It's six in each, and I got, I think, two. So I got 12 of these. Okay, so I got these for some ground cover. I love the pretty blue flowers in them. I got these ones for um, my hanging baskets. I had these last year, but I bought them um, already full grown and it was really expensive. So I'm just planning to put these in my hanging baskets. I got two, so two hanging baskets of those. I got a bunch of petunias and some impatience. And then up here, these are the ones that I got from the um, stand along the road. So I got a bunch of these gorgeous begonias. Oh my goodness. These are so full and beautiful. So yeah, I got four of these. I got three pinks and then this really pretty yellow orangey one. I also got um, some more begonias. These ones are a different kind. So these are the... Oh no, sorry, these are the Impatience. I got three of these as well. And then I also have some rosemary, some basil, and I have some mint inside. And then I got this pretty blue flower as well. And that's everything so far, and I can't wait to plant it all. It's going to be great, guys, once I can plant it and it's not <laughs> raining outside. Okay, so I am upstairs now, um, right after I showed you all of the flowers outside, Dixie decided to um, be an escape artist and run over to the neighbors. So I got totally drenched, it was pouring rain. So yeah, this is post rain hair, but what can I say, it's fine. Um, I came up here to make a few labels for a couple essential oil sprays that I've been working on, and I just kinda wanted to like show you what I was doing. So. This one is a Thieves Cleaner. Um, if you are into essential oils and if you are a Young Living essential oil person um, and a member, um, you probably already know about this, but if not, it's an amazing cleaner. Um, all essential oils, it's you know chemical free, it's really great. Um, and it smells really good, it kind of smells like cinnamon, like it reminds me of fall in a way. Um, but you can get this and it's concentrated. So it's kind of expensive if you think this is the whole thing like it's the whole cleaner but it's concentrated so um it's not expensive if you think about it that way and i put it in this with some water and i think i used one capful or maybe one and a half of this little capful so that's a lot like it's gonna go a long way um and like i said all i did was put it in with some water so i wanted to make a label for this and then also, a while ago, I don't know, a couple weeks or so, I made a tester of like a Febreze kind of air freshener one, um, and I really like it, so I'm going to make more today. So, the same bottle, I got these on, I forget what price, but I got them on Amazon. They're just like the amber glass 16 ounce bottles, um, and in this one is water, essential oils, and you can kind of just like pick whatever essential oils you want because... It is kind of like an air freshener. There's going to be some that are better at that, like purification, um, lemon, and then I think I have like a sweeter scent in there as well. And I also put in witch hazel. Witch hazel kind of takes away the bad smells in the air. Without it, it would just kind of be like covering it up in a way. Um, so witch hazel is really good for that. Also, witch hazel can be used as a bug repellent for essential oils, which I want to make that too for this summer, definitely. Um, so yeah, I have two labels that I created. I have already weeded them because I, I didn't want to film that because honestly, I hate weeding vinyl. I hate it. It takes forever. It's so tedious and I'm impatient. So <laughs> I have this one and this one and then it just says um, refresh spray for the one and then thieves cleaner for the other. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I'm also going to make some more cleaner as well. Or not cleaner. I'm going to make some more air freshener as well.
vlog, the weekend vlog, like day in life here, um, or days in life here. <laughs> but I wanted to introduce you to Mr. Feeney, my bunny. I have had him since college. I got him my junior year. Um, yes, he is uh, named after Boy Meets World. <laughs> and he is a Holland Lop, which is why he has his little loppy ears. Um, he is the king. We call him the King Feeney because he rules the nest. Don't ya? Don't ya? He rules the whole house. But he is just a, such a sweetie and he's so soft. Um, yeah, so how old are you, Feeney? How old are you? I think he's like, is it four and a half now? Maybe five years? I'm not even sure, but oh gosh. <laughs> but yes, he, um, he does get along with the cats pretty well. I don't know if you can see his hair just like <sighs> blowing in the air. But he gets along with the cats really well. Um, Dixie, not so much. So we often, you know, he's in the bedroom. He used to be full house. He's a house bunny. And what that means is he's litter box trained and everything. Um, yes, I'm not crazy. He really is litter box trained. Like, it does work. You can do that. So the thing with bunnies is they are really intelligent. They're actually way more intelligent than people realize, um, which is why I did not want him to just be in a cage. I wanted him to be able to roam around. And when I did some research and I realized that house bunnies are a real thing, um, I definitely wanted to do it. So yeah, he basically stays in the bedroom. Oh, Dixie just realized that he's out. So now she's gonna harass us. Um, they don't get along. Dixie, get down. But he does get along with the cats pretty well. Um, I'm gonna let him down because now Dixie's here. But, um, Dixie, no. But yeah, I basically live in a zoo. That's how I feel with all of my animals running around like crazy and balancing all of them. So anyway, I am going to end the weekend vlog here. I knew I didn't talk too much school stuff, but honestly, I try to um, stay pretty balanced from my school and like when I'm home, I'm home kind of thing. Um, and even with summer coming up, like I'm going to be doing more lifestyle videos and stuff like that because I do really need that time away from school to get ready for the following year. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and if you are not subscribed, you can do that below. Also like and comment on this video and I will catch you guys in another one. See ya.